Hi there, Christian Henson from Spitfire here with uh, part one of a series of three quick tips about uh, sidechains. Uh, when researching my last one that I did about the vocoder, uh, I found actually there was remarkably little about sidechains online. You could find out about sidechain kind of compression, ducking, gating, that kind of stuff, but actually what a sidechain is. So in these next three films, I'm kind of going to demonstrate the different uh, uses you can um, put it to. But uh, I spoke to Jeff Foster about this the other day and his ex explanation was that it's basically a reference signal that comes through a bus so I'm going to use the my, my glasses case to dem demonstrate okay so this is the the kind of the the processing unit and this is the signal coming in and then that's the signal coming out so what the side chain does is it comes in at the side and if you actually look on the Neve desk, the sidechain button is actually a, a, an arrow. And basically, this acts as a reference signal. So this is going through this. This is going to do something to this signal, change it. And what it's going to do is change the signal depending on what's coming in at the side. So we're going to start today by uh, doing some really cool synth pumps, pumping synths. And what will be happening is you've got a synth coming in to a compressor here and it coming out there, and the compressor is going to compress the synth not according to what the synth is doing, but is according to what the side chain is doing. hope that's uh, simple enough. So what we need to do first is I'm going to lay, lay down a cheesy uh, drum track, and I'm using the Grange, and I'm using a super tight uh, Chad Smith. It's always great to get one of the Chili Peppers to assist you demonstrating technical things. Okay, so let's just send that off. I'm actually going to record it into two locations, uh, both duplicates. One is a drum carrier, which is going out of bus one, and one is actually bust out so you can hear it. Uh, so let's uh, do that. going to quantize that to 16b my favorite and loop it oh no that's too much 16b cool i'm just going to mute that for now and then i'm going to lay down the synth part and what i'm using is albion 5 uh, one of the um bellow pads blade bellows 2 and uh, let me just lay that down quickly. that to ones and uh, let's just take that compressor off for a moment okay so let's have a listen to those two together Now, a technique you would want to maybe uh, use is to make the synth wrap themselves around the drums. So basically I've got an identical part playing the identical drums going into bus one and then what I've done is I've set up a compressor. And because I use Logic, it doesn't mean that you can only use do this on Logic. It's, it's just simply, you know, any door will be able to do it. So it's my fa the factory default, and I've set the side chain to bus one. OK, so the synth is going into the compressor. The compressor wants to compress the synth. But instead of compressing it according to what the synth is doing, it's now going to compress it according to what bus one is doing. So let's have a listen to that. There we go. Now, the reason I've set that up is actually I wouldn't want to write a track with a drum kit that sounded like that and a synth that sounded like that. But I do want to use the drum kit just to pump the synth so that then I can just have this very cool pumping synth of which I can improvise maybe some piano, which is Olafur's piano over the top.
what I really like about using side chains is that there there's a kind of organic unpredictability about them that I really like. That has a kind of it's not just granular sonically; it's granular from a, a kind of an amplitude point of view. But also, what I love is just the immediacy of uh, uh, using a side chain. So, um, just on the drum track, which you can't hear. Now, I'm just going to just literally play any old business to pump it differently to how the previous drum track was doing. So, let's have a listen to that. Uh, just a few little pointers on the compressor. Uh, you you set it to really extreme settings, so massive threshold. You know, as in like it, it compresses if it hears anything. So this is at minus forty one dB, and a big old ratio. And then you can set the attack and release so it kind of attacks. I've got it on a slightly slower attack with a slightly slower release. There's a sl kind of behind the beat, very cool feel about it. But again, this is the great thing about side chains is that not only we do have a, a synth that you can fiddle with, you've then got the way that you can pump it with the drums and then you can actually fiddle live if you uh, if you want or automate the actual compressor settings um, so that's uh, pumping synths with a side chain uh, next up in the next film will be about gates with a side chain thanks for listening <laughs>